probably say it was extremely too. Oh, I, oh yes. See if there's anything going. Yeah, we got we do got a string going. Yeah, we, we should be. See what are we streaming to though? All right, it should be up and running on this thing, man. I think we might be good to go. Yeah, we're three minutes, three and a half minutes. We roll. 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 We well, all right, all right. We ain't got to talk loud because we got the lapels. Okay, okay, okay. What's going on? What's going on, beers? We got, uh, we back on live. We supposed to be here at 1 o'clock. Well, hey, we still figuring this thing out. We should have everybody, you know, a few people on. We got LaDonna out of uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Charlotte. Uh, that's B Twice, Mama. Michael Collins. My brother-in-law, Freddie. Hey y'all, we just finna talk, you know, cause we got uh we got the one and only uh guest in the house, Swift. What's Damian up, Swift you? McKinney. Representing, you know, ready to give y'all that truth, ready to give y'all straight game, you know, some of that Swiftology. That's right, that's right. He been uh an OG at this game. Somebody that I learned a lot from. Uh well versed in the game, don't went from zero to one hundred in the game, don't did what most people still trying to do. Uh, and everything. So just tell us, Swift, what uh, you know. I just put it in your hands a little bit. Just tell them, tell them who you are if they don't already know. Uh, well, basically, you know, my name is Damian McKinney from Waco, Texas. I mean, I think a lot of people that know me probably already know the history. So I really don't want to get into all that as far as the the basketball side of things. But uh, you know, was that with DFW League? Uh, Baylor, you know, now kind of doing my own thing, entrepreneur, you know, as far as evaluating kids, uh, promoting kids, uh, hosting events, and just giving a wealth of knowledge to parents, to players, anybody that's aspiring to be a, a college athlete or, or a high school player or even a pro, you know, we just kind of want to break down certain players and just give a, uh, uh, knowledge on what it takes to be successful. So if you got videos or you got anything that you want to talk about, we can talk about it. <clears throat> good, good, good. So so hey man, you know, we don't have no script. My man, we just we just talking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so we just chopping it up. We, we just chopping it up and we you know that's how we're gonna roll. We ain't gonna write out no script and and talk, you know, because we don't do that when we talk on the phone. So this is kind of like, you know, shoot, phone conversation. So what I think was, uh, for like, you know, uh, for, for those who don't know or quote unquote lost or whatever, you know, so like just give us some of your swiftology on like, you know, for those who want to know what's going on or what, what, would, what would you tell somebody who just don't know, you know, anything. That could be from how to get better, you know, how to be, whatever the topic is, you know. Well, I think, uh, first of all, if, if a lot of kids got the aspirations to be a college basketball player, and I think the first thing that you got to do as far as parents and even a child uh, is just be realistic with where, where you are as far as ability-wise. Um, 
you know, you got a lot of kids that aspire to be a uh, high major, but at the same time, you got to understand what it takes to be a high major. You know, you got kids that want to be high majors but mid majors, and want to be, you know, uh, a mid major but 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 low major. So my thing is, first thing you got to do at the uh, early on, around freshman, sophomore, just kind of determine, okay, what's the height, what's the size, what's the position. You know, a lot of those things come into play because if even if you're a great scorer, you're a great scorer and you're five, uh, seven, and, you know, you've been playing a two all your life and, and, and you've been putting up 30, two, uh, 29 points, you know, whatever, well, at the at the highest level, when you're talking about UConn and, and uh, you know, Tennessee and things like that, well, you, you, you're a point guard. So, so you got to understand that early on, what position – am I going to play, you know, as far as at this level. Now, you can play a two-guard at a, at a certain school in college, but you won't be able to play a two-guard in the Big 12 or, or in the SEC at, at that height. So the first thing you got to do is just be realistic. And then the next thing is uh, develop your skill set. You know, if you're a great point guard and you're scoring a point guard, if you want to be a high major, you have to change your basketball personality. You, your, your, your attitude can't go out and score 30 points a game. Your attitude got to be a facilitator. I want to get everybody involved. Um, I, I want to get my if, – if it takes for me to have uh, 10 assists this game, I have to give 10 assists. If it's going to take me four steals and, and, and 12 points, that's what I have to do. So when, when, at a point guard position, your, your job is to do whatever it takes to win. Your job is not to score 25, 30 points. Mm -hmm. Your job is to do whatever it takes – for your teammates to win, even if that's sacrifice, sacrificing scoring or, or what have you. So um, that's a, a few pointers on being a, a college athlete. And uh, the thing about it is kids out there put in the time. You know, parents, like I say, you know, understand what position your child has to play. And I know um, sometimes, you know, a lot of coaches are going to be traditional. High school coaches are going to be traditional. You might have a, a kid that's playing the four. She's a six-foot athletic kid. She's playing the four for a school, but at the next level, she's going to have to play the three, okay? It's your job as a parent to go ahead and put that kid in a position to, to transition into that three player. You mm -hmm. might not be able to do it with your high school, but find a good select team that's going to give that, that kid the opportunity to transition into that wing player. And and coaches, you gotta be straight up, you gotta be honest. You know, a lot of times we can't, you know, we can't feed the kid dreams just to get them on our team. As coaches, we gotta do what's best for the kid. So I, I, I challenge all high school coaches and AAU coaches, sometimes you have to do what's best for the kid. You know, I know sometimes Four player, you don't have height, so they got to play the four. But at the same time, juggle it. You know, keep it fair for the kid to get recruited. Because a lot of times, you you we're we're playing with this this kid's future. If the kid is a three player, but we're playing them at the five the entire summer, so nobody gets a chance to see that kid play on the perimeter. So, and if you are a kid like that that's on a bubble that's trying to transition. Don't just work on your offensive game, shooting threes and putting it on the floor. You know, y'all five and four players that's trying to transition, you got to get your feet work, footwork right. You got to go out and guard perimeter players and be able to make, you know, defensive stops against some of the best players around. So um, that's a little bit of advice right there. And, you know, even if we want to talk about some players, you know, some, 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 some kids that's, you know, that's really put themselves on, on the map, you know, that's what this is about. So, uh, Parents, you know, if you're looking for exposure, you know, this is the right place. You get, you got the, you know, the right guys, and, and you got a lot of knowledge about what it takes to get to the next level. And uh, and another thing, we gonna be straight up honest. So if there's a kid that we feel that has, you know, kind of made a downward spiral, well, our job is just to tell them the truth, so the parents can get that knowledge, the kid can get that knowledge, and they can get back on the up and up. That's, I think that's like. Uh, <clears throat> You know, there, this is not a, you know, bash or anything. You know, this is just, you know, uh, coming from, uh, uh, you know, because you've been there. You 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 don't recruited uh, some of the uh, the best players uh, in the nation to obviously it worked because you won a national championship. So, you know, this is one of the things that is just, you know, what's best, you know, for the kids. It comes from 
you're just willing to say it. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, definitely. Some, definitely, some, definitely. some people they're just not willing to 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 you know say it so that the parent and the kid can understand it. And uh, you know, we'll just let the kid just keep having you know hopes that they can play the five at five foot eleven. You know, right, instead right, of telling right, them right, you know that's right. not gonna work or you know that a five foot two shooting guard not gonna work. So uh, or that you know you you peaked in the ninth grade and you know is you know there, there hasn't been you know right much uh improvement or you have improved so much you know mm -hmm. since the eighth grade you know mm -hmm. you, you deserve to be a top mm -hmm. 10 player so i think that's what uh you know what's what's special about you is that you're willing to to say it and uh not yeah. with the intentions to hurt feelings but yeah i got just a to, few you know scenarios yeah. and examples that yeah. that i really can share and i think that will will help the kids out there mm -hmm. today. You know, um, you know, just being real. Um, even with with your, with the program DFW Elite. Mm -hmm. You know, if I just look into the crystal ball into the future and look at some of the kids that's getting recruited in that in that program, it's some advice that I would like to give them. You know, that goes. Uh, you know, for one. Um, you know, just just words of wisdom. Harmony Turner. You know, uh, I feel like. Uh, it's very important that you work on your point guard. You know, work work on your uh, playing the, the one position. You know, because um, you have the opportunity to go high major, but at the, at the high major level, um, two the two spot probably won't be the position for you. It have to be the one spot. An example is, you know, as a college coach, if I'm looking at the team, well, you know, say. You got Harmony Turner right here, and maybe you got an India Rogers right here. And say I'm a I'm a UConn or I'm a Texas A&M, and I'm trying to get, find a point guard. Uh, well, definitely, you, you know, the average might be higher as far as scoring right here on this end. But get guess what? As college coaches, we're going to go to the to the person that has played the position that 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 is uh, that we might see. Uh, that's that's more natural at that position. Not saying that you you know you can't play that position, but I'm just saying go ahead and start grooming yourself to play that position because that's how these scholarships are offered. You know, uh, you got one scholarship, you need a point guard. Well, then they got you who are who who who's a great scorer, great shooter. You know, got all the intangibles to be a great point guard. Maybe you know like a Steph Curry type, but you got to go ahead and get your mentality geared. In that direction like right now and you might be playing on a high school team that may need you to play the two but at the same time once you get that outlet pass once you get that you know that rebound you're you're a point guard when that ball is in your hands and transition you're a point guard so get your get your mind set on making being a playmaker you know and, and I think that what would, would really help in the long run you know so I hope that example kind of help helps you out there. Like as far as I said, uh, you know, the Indian Rogers and the Harmony Turner. You know, one might be a better shooter, one might be a better this. But if I need a point guard at the next level, well, I can't have a you know a five nine or you know uh, or a five seven one and a five seven two. I'm gonna have to have one of those players playing the point, and then I gotta put my five eleven six foot score slasher you know at the two and because well as coaches we're trying to match up with the best you know even at Baylor University um you know since UConn was the, the number one team well when 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 I, when I recruited I was recruiting to match up with UConn you know so I couldn't have little guards at the at the two position I, I had to have a point guard then I had to have a, a a Maya Moore stopper so so that Maya Moore stopper you know in my vision had to be lengthy had to be athletic had to be quick able to contest jumpers you know and things like that so that's when we went out and saw Jordan Madden who was a six foot slinky athletic kid that can match up with any long perimeter player in the country and that's kind of how a college coach is going to to recruit and, and, and look at um, another uh, uh, example of just becoming a, a, a great player and just reaching your full potential. You know, uh, Corey, we talked about uh, the white, the uh, the white Kay, team. Kayla, Kayla, Kayla White. Yeah, Kayla, Kayla White. Kayla, Kayla uh, White. Senior DeSoto High. Yeah, yeah. You know, wisdom for Kayla White. You know, I understand um, the thing about you. Is, is the basketball mentality. You got to have the basketball mentality that you can play with anybody in the country because it's obviously uh, 
proving that you have great skills. You know, you, you can shoot the ball. You know, um, you, can, you can put the ball on the floor. So I think for you to be great, especially if you got the same intangibles, say, okay, it's like this. Say you have a Zay Green and you have a, a, a Kayla White. Well, really, as far as developing and, 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 and training and being in the gym, it's not really a difference too much in the skill set. You know, maybe one is better than the other, but what is different is the mentality that comes along with those skills. So my thing is, uh, Kayla, you got to understand that you can knock down any open shot that you get at any given moment. You know, you can, you can, you can play this game at a high level because you got high level skills. So my thing is get your basketball mentality to where you are one of the best, to where you're confident enough to know that you can play with anybody. Sort of like how Zay Green plays the game. Regardless if her skill set was a little bit lower than what it is, what it is her mentality is that I'm better, I'm the best, or I'm striving to be the best. So that's what I would uh, uh, give knowledge to the player that has all the skill set but just lacks a little bit of confidence. So just kind of observing and evaluating, you know, uh, you over the course of the years, I feel like you got everything that you need, but it's just that the confidence and, and, and hopefully this summer was a big confidence builder for you. So just realize that you can play with anybody in this game and, and think about your skill set and what you do well. You know, Clay Thompson is a great shooter for Golden State. I think you're a great shooter. So kind of sculpture your game into a Clay Thompson type of player and, and, and just, just become a, a straight sniper. You know what I'm saying? And not, not, not a player that you got to want to create your shot all the time, whatever. That's, that's not your style. your style. Your style is sniping. So, so you should go out and try to be the best sniper in the country. <clears throat> good, good deal. I want to check, uh, uh, Christian, where are we? Are we streaming? Can you? We are? Okay, good deal, good deal. Well, uh, yeah, so... <clears throat> You know that was just like you know some um, some 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 good some very good constructive um, uh, feedback to help the pr the player uh, you know uh, and the parent you know know that you know there's there's still room uh, for growth and uh, I think you know uh, like I said to me what we don't do is uh, you know tell the, tell the kids or the parents you know what we feel is is real and then all that does is just stunts stunts the growth. What I want, you know, to ask you is like, hey, let's, you know, if you're a college coach and you're in the 20, 2020 class right now. I mean, I, I, I'm heard y'all have a board or whatever. So if I, if you're looking for a point guard and you know, and they're they're in the, you know, and you had to recruit from the state of Texas, you know, mm -hmm. what's what's your board looking like? Who's at the top of your board? Who's next on the board? You um, know? you know, it just uh, I have some girls at the top of that board, but to me. You know, once you get like a, a top five in a 2020 class, mm -hmm. personally, I don't care which one I get out of that top five because mm -hmm. what 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 for is my strength is developing and, and, and motivating. So if I can get that fifth one, I feel like in a year, so we will be better than that number one player. But mm -hmm. uh, just just that's jumping right at you. You know, as far as 2020 class, it has to be Sarah Andrews. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like. She's a player that has has already has the body. Um, she has the IQ and uh, she has the skill set. Mm -hmm. And it was and I think it was important for her to go out and go ahead and play against the best, you know, at an early age. So I feel like she does have a step on the rest of the 2020s in Texas because she's played at a at a high level for for a longer period of time. But there are some girls. With the with the skill set, with the with the correct coaching, I feel that can be a great matchup for mm -hmm. them, you know. And and one kind of jumps off the bat to me is uh Layla Blair. You know, I feel like Layla Blair is a kid that has you know just uh, skill set just as good. You know, uh, we have some clips of her training with 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 a with me and on humble, and we're just kind of teaching her some some. Uh, you know, just kind of creating your own shot type of things right there. You know, if you want to run that backcourt. Can they see this? Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, this is 2020 Layla, kid Layla Blair. You know, and you know if y'all have some videos that you want to send me, you know, I will break them down and just let you know. You see the the, the ball hound set, the move, and the finish. You know, that's some of the things that is going to take it the next level. You know, I feel like as a 2020, her skills set is just as good as anybody else. That's including Sarah Andrews. Now, for her to get better, I think what some of her weaknesses, she has to be a little. Uh, quicker, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, a foot speed is not great, but a seal skill set is what gives her the opportunity to be a pro. When you look at this, you know, she's always going to be a mismatch because guess what? She she can knock it down. She can create and she can just knock down that shot. And when you when she approaches cone, we're just kind of working on, you know, being in trouble, being in a little traffic and just kind of creating your shot. You know, maybe shot clock running down and you just need to get it off. Boom, you know, uh, Bang, bang, you know, spin out of the bang, bang, right into the jumper, you know. So I think Layla Blair's the kid. We got an under the radar, you know, a kid coming up too. Check this move out right here. And that's and that's the three ball, you know what I'm saying? Take another look at it. You know, this is kind of what we do as far as creating players, you know. And when you look at these moves, these are not your basic, you know, fundamentally uh, moves, you know, these, this is what we call some fly swift, you know, type moves right here. So, uh, so, so on that, what I want to speak to that is, you know, uh, and what you you're pretty good at is a lot of these kids, a lot of the parents say, I just don't never play, uh, do the moves in, in in the game, or they never, mm -hmm. you know, they they and they highly skilled, mm -hmm. but they just won't take it to to the to the actual game. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So mm -hmm. what what is it about what you do where a kid like Layla? brings it the skill and the um, move to the game that they're comfortable well doing it. well what I do is when we train you know I think what's important and I think what separates our training from everybody else is is it's not about just the drill it's not about just hitting the cone and making this move or whatever what's the most important ingredient when it comes to the training is the psychology behind the training you know, so that's basically the, the, the basketball terminology that you're using to motivate that kid, that you're kind of explaining when to use these type of moves and when to practice these type of moves. For instance, Layla Blair, what I do is tell her is, you know, she has a dream. Her dream is to be in the WNBA. So every time we train, I just kind of remind her of her dream or and where we're trying to get and, and let her know to understand, okay, now you're not facing a high school kid from 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 Waller. You know what you, who you're facing right now as you train. You're you're, you're facing uh, Odyssey Sims. You know you're facing uh, Sue Bird. So a kid that wants to be great and a kid that wants to be the best, well, that's going to motivate them within that you know that setting. So so what I do is I just you know tell them, hey, we're in traffic to be a great point guard. Your, your job is to never get trapped. Your job is to never be pressed. So what we do is we work on difficult ball handling skills as if we were pressed or if we were trapped and we're getting out of that. And we're not just all getting to the hole all the time. We're making difficult shots out of moves, the three-point shot, you know, the 15-footer. So those are the things that I feel that – uh, allows her to play against anybody in the country in her class, you know. So, like yeah. I said, I know Sarah Andrews is at the top, you know. Uh, got a lot of respect for Sandra Andrews, but the kids like uh, uh, Layla Blair, you know, she's a kid that you can't make a mistake on, and that's kind of how I sculpture her game. We don't have to be blurring fast. We don't have to be super quick. All we have to do is be skilled. So if you make a mistake, you're two feet off, boom, we're going to knock you down with the three. you close up on us, boom, we're going to create, and we're going to get you off of us. We get to the basket, we're looking for the open person, or we're finishing. Whether we finish with a regular layup or where we take it to the other side and reverse it. We, 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 we work on... Uh, moves that has a high degree of difficulty because that that is what it takes to play in Sweet 16s and Final Fours. So as we train, we train for the, the Sweet 16 and we train for the Final Four. We don't train for, for high school or district MVP. We train to be McDonald's All-Americans. So that's the psychology that we, we walk in with. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, you mentioned there's a, uh, you know, uh, 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 under the radar. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, uh, 
Yeah, this is, you know, a project. You know, this is a kid that's been in the lab. You know, this is Dee Dee. You know, uh, I feel she's a 2020, and uh, I think she has the opportunity to be, to be a great, you know. And uh, one thing about this kid, when you compare Sandra Andrews and, and, and Layla, this kid has world-class athleticism. You know, this kid has the ability, and she works extremely hard. You know, as you look at this video, we're just working on ball handling. You know, just difficult stuff. And, you, you know, you see the hard, compact dribble, you know. She, she's just bouncing and, and just working on it you know we, we make mistakes but this is how we practice but what what's special about this kid she can match up with any kid in the country because for one she's going to run faster than you but for the next one she's just going to be naturally quicker than you this is a kid that 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 runs the 100 and the 200 at the at the junior olympics so anytime I get a kid like that, she's, she becomes a project to me. And sometimes she's the kid that I may take over Sandra, Sarah Andrews because I know that she can, she has makeup ability. So she can, this kid has the, 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 uh, the ability to make a mistake and make up for it just off of God given uh, ability. Right. That's speed and, 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 and quickness. So if we got a Sarah Andrews and we got a matchup against Sarah Andrews, that's my matchup for because if Sarah Andrews beats her, I know she's going to go be able to catch her. If, right. if Sarah Andrews uh, uh, is is trailing her and it's a it's a foot race for the loose ball, I know this kid is going to win that foot race and be able to lay it up at the other end. So when I when I think about this kid, she's raw. You know, and she doesn't quite have the IQ that Layla Blair and, and Sarah Andrews has, but she does have great athleticism. And uh, this is a kid with Odyssey Sims type of uh, defensive uh, ability. And, and it's, she don't know where she is yet. She don't understand her, her true talents and her ability. But this kid is one that's, that, that you might be hearing about in a, in a couple of years as being one of the best in the state. Yeah, well, good deal, good deal. That's... that's uh... You know that's awesome. Like I said, that's that's the reason why. Like I I enjoy, you know, uh, bouncing off basketball talk. You know, off your head and everything because, you know, not only you know you have a talent for, like like Robin got a a knack for getting rebound. You got a talent for not only finding, you know, uh, uh, the talent, the young talent, but you know, uh, getting talent and improving the talent. And you know, mm -hmm. so I think it's important that the viewers know. You know, uh, you know where you come from. Uh, that you got, uh, you know, a, a, a history and a proven history. History. It ain't just like, you know, saying that you, you know, you had this player. It actually, you mm -hmm. got a ring on your finger. You know, you beat mm -hmm. Gino. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you you took Baylor to a, a couple of sweet sweet sixteen. You won the Big Twelve. You know, uh, you recruited uh, 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 and molded tons of talent through the DFW League program. It's it's you know. So you got. You know, you got like, you know, accolades. Uh, uh, you know, people have tried and still trying to do what you did, and it just ain't been done. You know, to come from, from, from non-scholastic uh, or even scholastic to collegiate, and and, and you know, and be successful. Yeah, at the, at I mean, I know a lot of them boys can relate to it. You know, I mean, you no, know, I know Ray Cowell. You know, with San Antonio Finest. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying he coached from AAU to to college. But, you know, sometimes when you get that, to that college, you know, it's a different level. So I, I, yeah. I, I know he got a different perspective about college coaching and, and recruiting. So, so uh, you know, um, that's another guy that you can bounce th something off as far as, you know, is it easy? Is it easy to be successful at that level, you right. know? And, and it really isn't, you know? Right. And another thing, you know, we'll talk about is, you know, a lot of y'all college coaches, you know, y'all need to come holler. You know, you need to come holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Because there's some college coaches out there with, with plenty of talent, loads of talent, and, you know, not really uh, reaching their full potential. So parents, you know, when you got big-time kids and you're trying to make a decision on what college you're going to, um, we can talk about that too, you know, because, you know, like I say, I'm going to tell the truth, you know, and it's some it's some, it's some programs that need to step the game up, you know. Right. For one, you know, I think, Corey, you know, um, should I name a few colleges I mean, that need to step the game up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's a show. We okay, talking, okay. You know? I mean, this is, this is like... <laughs> You know, things that you and I have talked about, you and Mud and, 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 and you know, come on now. It's, 
when we was in that uh, cul-de-sac or we, what we call the circle, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, this is the circle. This is the cul-de-sac. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? We, it's circle. Mm -hmm. Okay. College coaches out there, there's a science to recruiting. It's a science, you know. Um, if you're trying to win championships, it's a, it's, a, it's a puzzle that you have to create. And Karen Aston, you know, you need to holler at me. You know, you need to holler at me a little bit. You know, I, I, you, I respect you. Karen, you're one of the, um, the reasons why I became a college coach. You know, you, you, you actually found, found me and, you know, and, 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 and told Coach Mulkey about who I was. So, Karen, you know, just out of love, you know, holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Because there's quite a few uh, All-Americans you got on the, on, on the roster, and I just feel like, you have the talent to, to do what it takes, but as far as, you know, just putting that puzzle together, you know, that's something that we need to talk about, you know, because I think some coaches, sometimes they go get big-time players, big-time players, but it's a science, you know, all right? Know where you need a big-time player, you know, after you evaluate your team, know what your needs are in order, because you, you can go get a McDonald's All-American, and then you need... Sometimes you'll need a four player or five player. That four player or five player don't have to be a McDonald's All American. All she has to be is somebody that that can uh, that has chemistry with the rest of the players that you have. So understand what you're dealing with. You know, you know, personally, college coaches, you know, once aspire to be great recruiters and and and, and, and win championships. Think about it. Um, if you if you if you're aspiring to win a national championship, it's a different way you have to recruit. If you if you're aspiring to win a conference championship, it's a different way you have to recruit. You know, so my my advice to college coaches: don't recruit to win a Big Twelve championship if you're Oklahoma or if you're Texas or if you're you know Baylor. Recruit to win a national championship. So when you're trying to recruit for that. Look at who's going to be the contender. Look at South Carolina. And look at how can I affect South Carolina. What player is going to help me beat South Carolina at the end of the day? And you start recruiting to beat that champion, okay? So if, if you're going to be a champion, you can't be small-minded. You can't just think about winning your own conference and going first, second round and being knocked out, okay? So um, with that being said, uh, Karen, I think you got some pieces, you know, to, 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 be, to be very good, you know, um, but it just comes down to that puzzle. And that's, you know, that's something that, that we can talk about, you know, if, if you feel like talking about it, you know, you know how to reach me and talk to me. And, uh, you know, that's that. But I really do think that it's time for Texas to kind of turn the corner. You know, I think that I think that's it's the moment, you know, no, no disrespect. You know, I think the coaching staff is doing a great job of recruiting, uh, great job of, of, of landing players. But now it's time to take that recruiting mm -hmm. and, 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 and make those parents proud, you know, of, of, you know, this is why I sent my child to, right, to right. the University of Texas, right. you know, so. Right. Yeah, and she has a, uh, uh, a pretty good, uh, you know, she always has a pretty good recruiting class, and you mm -hmm. said maybe two, three years ago, uh, you know, one of her prized recruits that you had her, uh, and that player was Jonah Holmes. You yeah, had Jonah her Holmes. at the top, uh, the number one player in your uh, 20, what is it, 16? 2016 class? Yeah, 20, I think it's 2016. 2016, 2016 class, yeah, yeah. You had her at the top. And you took a lot of heat for that yeah. because yeah. every other uh, uh, ranking service had Lauren Cox uh, at the top. But after one collegiate year, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, Jonah Holmes uh, clearly which was the Big 12 uh, freshman of the year and, and had an outstanding uh, year, uh, you know, your, your ranking. Mm -hmm. uh, of Jonah Holmes over Lauren Cox was clearly uh, uh, the, the 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 realistic uh, outcome, right? You right. know, so uh, you know it's uh, it, and you had your reasons, yeah, had, uh, at that time why you you know right. so just you just kind of relive on why you put <laughs> yeah and Jonah and, uh, above well the number one <laughs> in the country in particular above Lauren Cox and you're right I did take a lot of uh, slack for that because I know. At that time, Lauren Cox was the unanimous, unanimous choice of being the number one player in the country. But one thing I think that, that I do that's different, I don't just evaluate uh, 
where you are at that moment, you mm -hmm. know, when I, when I do rankings and things like that. I also factor in the potential, you know, and, 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 and being at the, the, the college level and, and, and knowing what it takes to, to win championships, that's why I put Joyner Holmes above Lauren Cox. And one of the reasons is when you look at the two, uh, as a college coach, the first thing that you got to do is you got to look at the bodies. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, and then, with, when you look at Joyner, uh, Joyner has she's practically the same height. You know, and and I look at her as a thoroughbred. You know, she has the versatility. She's a player that plays the four, but she has the the uh, the ability to guard a point guard. She can guard a two guard. She can guard a three. She can guard a four. She can guard a five. So you're looking at a kid that can play multiple positions and guard multiple positions. When you look at Lauren Cox, I think she's limited to the four and five position. So when you when it gets right down to it, and 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 you're playing against uh, uh, Brianna Stewart, you know that, that that's that's kind of how my. Uh, my vision is on, on on a player, so I have to have a player to match up with Brianna Stewart. So Brianna's going to step out on the perimeter. She's going to post up inside. So Joyner Holmes is my matchup for UConn against Brianna Stewart, and I feel like that's what separates her from Lauren Cox. And 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 and, and offensively, you know, she she's a leaper. You know, so so she that that's what you call. Uh, Making up, you know, she has closing ability. You know, you might be a shot that looks like it's open, but she has the ability to close and, and create a difficult shot. So, um, you know, and I think that's why she was successful her freshman year. You know, she 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 runs like a gazelle, you know, and she has great length and uh, she has confidence, you know. So uh, Lauren Cox, I think she's going to be a great player, a great collegiate player, but I just think that her – her bread and butter is going to be on the block, you know. Mm -hmm. So I look at, at Joyner Holmes as the type of kid that that has the, the, the you know, uh, maybe a future of being a number one draft pick at the end of the day in, in the WNBA, you know, because of the versatility. And in this game, it's about matchups. It's about matchups and it's about versatility. And if I'm going to recruit a player, you know, I basically want to recruit hybrids. Mm -hmm. I, want to, I want to recruit lengthy players, you know, and that's kind of what – uh, did at Baylor University. I want lengthy six footers and up right. that can guard multiple positions and and, and play multiple positions right. and and you know that that makes your team a hybrid style team right, right. and that's very very hard to deal with. Right. So that's right. why Joyner Holmes was the number one player in the country and I and I still stand by that. And maybe after the freshman year, you know, in college, you know, maybe the world got a chance to to see you know the two the two players and, right. and, and determine. Well, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's so, you know, as you go into the looking at this 2018 class, you know, uh, again, you know, in no particular order, but, you know, you got five on the board, you know, just pick your brain for your five, you know, on the board. I mean, we're going to stay within the state of, of yeah, Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I think, you know, Charlie Collier, of course, you yeah, know, is, yeah, is a, is a, uh, impact player mm -hmm. at the next level, immediate impact. Um, I like the I like the uh, the, 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 the white girl, the Sedonia. What's her Sedona name? Prince. I think Sister yeah, I think Sedona. she has world's potential. Now I don't think she's where she needs to be right now, mm -hmm. but when I watched her, she was very athletic. She mm -hmm. ran the floor well. She was lengthy. She has great shoulders. You know mm -hmm. that's one thing that impressed impressed me was her shoulders and in her in her length, in her arms, mm -hmm. her wingspan. So I think she's she's out there. Of course, Zay Green. You mm -hmm. know, I've always been real high on Zay. You know, Zay is a competitor. Uh, she's somebody that loves the game. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you when you're recruiting, you can't go wrong with someone that actually loves the game. Sometimes you have great players that's that's talented, mm -hmm. and then you have players. That that's winners, yeah. you know, and I feel like she's a a, a bona fide winner. winner right. um, I think uh, in the 2018 class, you know, I like I like Tatum, you know, I like yeah, Tatum, Tatum. Yeah. Wittenheimer, you yeah. know. I just think she's another kid that's 
that's a winner, you know, mm -hmm. that just knows how to win. You know, she just finds a way to win. She works, 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 works her butt off and, and, and play. I didn't watch a lot of basketball this summer because I was, you know, busy doing doing other things. But um, another player uh, in a 2018 <laughs> class is, you know, you know, I'm going to go with my girl uh, Taylor Pruitt. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think she's under the radar. You know, I think um, Taylor has, has – uh, you know, I've, I've, I've worked with Taylor for a long time. So as far as when you're talking about skill set, you know, when you look at Kennedy Carter's skill set, I think she can. She does the same thing Kennedy Carter does mm -hmm. with the ball as far as the three-point shot. You know, now um, for her to be, become a high major, I think she has to you work on getting in shape, mm -hmm. getting, her, getting her body right, right, right you right. know, and things like that. But as far as when you're talking about basketball IQ, and, and you're just talking about skills and and and, and being just a, a a good, heady, sound point guard. She she she's one of the best in that class. Now I don't think 2018 class is very talented. I don't mm -hmm. think it's as much talent and, and as deep as the, as the other classes. Yeah. You know, as the, as yeah. the 17 class and even the 19 and the mm -hmm. 2020 class. So you just kind of in Texas, you gotta. You know, you just got to look for those intangibles oh. and those characteristics to, you know, find that, a, a Okay, great well, that player. one player, you know, that you can say that's a bad, shut your mouth. Who is that? That Out of whoever, all the kids you just named, that's that's a bad, shut your mouth. Who, who which one is, is a bad, shut your mouth? Uh, man, I'm I mean, going to that, 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 that one that's like, you know, the 30 piece is coming. She's going to give somebody a 30 piece. Yeah. Uh, out of the five you just named, that's a bad shut your mouth. Man, I'm going to have to go with Zay Green. Go you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to go with Zay Green. You know, I think her ability and her length, you know, to take over a game. You know, I like Charlie and I like uh, Prince, but they're limited. You know, they're post players. So, you know, you know they can only do so much. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. They got to wait on a Zay Green, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, to, to feed them or, or, or Tatum, Wittenheimer. Yeah. So, I, I thought... Zay was one of the best in the country in the seventh grade, mm. you know, and I think she's one of the best in the country right now today. Mm. You know, I think she's a winner, you know. Uh, um, some of the things uh, I think that she, she, she might need to work on, I think, um, you know, just to be great, you know, and, and just really take a stop to another level, I think, um, at the one position. I think just her just kind of developing that craft as being a, sometimes just a pure point guard. You know what I'm saying? I think that would really, like, take her from where she is all the way and put her over the top. And that comes with the point guard mannerisms as far as, you know, handling how you skip down, how you keep it low. And, you know, you get cut off, you spin real quick behind your back, back it up. You know, just that point guard control, run my team, point them out, whatever. You know, Zay is a scorer. You know, mm -hmm. Zay is a slasher. So she's the type of player you just give it to her on the wing and she – she magicians and it makes it happen, you know. So, so I think you know Zay is my my, my shut your mouth player. You know what okay, I'm saying? She's okay. she's done it for a long time. That's a bad at every level. Shut your mouth. Yeah, she might. You know. She she's that you know that yeah. that shut your mouth. Right, you know. Right. You know in a uh, circle, it wouldn't yeah. shut your mouth. She that ring girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She got that ability. She she can go get her another ring this year. Right. So so my that thing is, Zay, okay. leave your legacy. You know, right. when, when you was young, I compared you to to Tamika. Catches, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, your aspirations should be that. You know, not you know, so when you when you practicing every day, you know, you gotta when you already pretty good and pretty decent, you gotta have something that's gonna challenge you and, and motivate you. You know, Tamika Catches came through Duncanville and, and and at this point right now, she's still the best that ever come through uh Duncanville until you go out and prove and, and have the, the career and then you know that she's had, you know, so but when I talked about you as a young girl, you know, I compared you to Tamika Kitchens. So that's letting you know you got a long, long, long way to go. But think about that. I think you can get there. Right, right, right. So uh, I know it's another player that you that you're working with uh, in that in down there in the Houston area. Oh yeah. And, uh, you know, she's uh you know, oh yeah, my girl. Yeah, Liz Scott. Liz Scott, 2019 kid. I think has a great upside. You know, kind of been started working with her. You know, uh, just just uh, when she she got uh, 
an invitation to, for a trial for the USA team, and, and that's when I kind of came and, you know, worked with her. But this is a kid that's, you know, she's six foot. She's six foot. Uh, she's playing the four right now. And so what we're doing right now, we're just kind of transitioning to, to the three. You know, I think she's a bruiser, bruising type of kid. You know, uh, we got some some other videos where she just kind of knocking it down. Maybe you know this might be the wrong one, but when you when you look, you go back to that. You can go back to that video of Liz Scott. You know, I'm not really worried about the mate. You know, we gonna get the mates down, but just look at this move. This is a six footer with a strong body. You know, you see the the behind the back, through the legs, strong, compact, quick. Look at her body. You know, she's already have a cottage sides body. So basically, what we working on is. We're going to become a bruiser. You know, we're not trying to, 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 to be elusive and go around you. We're going to give you a move, and we're putting that shoulder right into you. We're stepping back, or, or we're creating separation with that shoulder, and, we, and we're getting it off. You know, she played with San Antonio Finals this year. She played the four all year. You know, uh, she didn't make the USA team because, like they told her down there, she's a three player. You know, so... Um, and when you look at this kid right here, you know, this kind of stuff we've been working on. You know, this is one and one y'all know. This is Kennedy Carter, you know. And, and this kid right here uh, is a pro, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she, 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 she's a pro, you know. And, and just to really break it down, you know, she got to continue to, you know, stay in shape. And she got to get a, a, a attitude, you know, on board. But I just think she's made great strides with that each year. But when you look at this handle, this is the bang bang drill. Just look at the ball control, the ball speed, and this is something that she that she'll do, you know, in in the game. You know what I'm saying? And and what I was comparing, like, you know, when I was talking about Kayla White, you know, and the rest of them, and what they have, and what she has, and what Odyssey had, and Mariah Jefferson has, is that mentality. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's one of the reasons that she's a pro. But she's already have a, a pro skill set. Mm -hmm. So. Um, um, going back to the Liz Scotts, to the Layla Blairs, to the to the to the Sarah Andrews, to the Harmony Turners, the India Rogers, you know, keep developing your craft. You know, uh, look at the ones that came before you, and that's great, and that's put up numbers, and that's left a legacy, and continue to work on your craft to get there. You know, uh, I'm I'm excited to see what Kennedy Carter is going to do this year. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and see how are. Gary Blair go use yeah, it. You know? Yeah. Um, you know, I think what impressed me was, uh, I mean, it always impressed me with a game, but, you know, in the gold medal game mm -hmm. of the uh, U19 against <laughs> Russia, uh -huh. you know, she, she, didn't, she didn't start. They lost by four. She played 20 minutes and mm -hmm. dropped 31 points. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that, that just lets you know the yeah. type of kid yeah. that you're dealing with, yeah. you know. Yeah. You know, she's the type of kid, you know, you got to, if, if, if she's going to be on your team, you got to take the good with the bad, yeah. you know what I'm saying? There's going to be times to where, you know, she gets frustrated, you know, and things like that, but that's a kid that you got to nurture men mentally, continue to build her up and, 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 and help her see the vision of what a, a finished product mm. is mentally, and physically with her and work and nurture that, you know. Yeah. Um, that's something that's not going to happen overnight. But when you have that type of ability and you have somebody with that type of passion and love for the game, um, that that's that's something special mm -hmm. enough to, to maybe sacrifice a right. few things in order to, you know, right, help too. her get to where she needs right, to go. Right. So, um, you know, Gary, um, you got a great player. But at the same time, you you got a good a good project on your hands. So um, I think it was an excellent choice of signing. I think a lot of people missed out on on not offering her earlier early on, and I think they they may regret it at the yeah, end of yeah. the day. You know, yeah, I, I kind of agree with you on that. Yeah, but, uh, she's a kid that you know you can put her in a in a conversation with being the best in the country. Yeah. You know, you got Megan Walker out there who's a great scorer, but guess what? This this young lady is a great scorer too. And in the in the, the, the what's dangerous about it is she's a point guard and the ball will be in her hands majority of the time. So, um a lot of times when she's just going, you know, you're basically at her mercy. You know, yeah. you're at her mercy because there's not a shot that she can't knock down. There's not a step hey, back she that can't. she can't hit. Yeah. And and what's what's special about her is, yeah, you say you look at her body and say, oh, she needs to stay in shape. But when you look at her, you you don't you don't realize how athletic she is. You know, she has 
what and I think this is what kind of helps her be a be great. All right, for one, she's super explosive. She got a she got an excellent first step that's second to none when when you're talking about the hesitation and getting to the basket. Next, she can she can jump. You know, this kid she might not look like it, but she can jump. Nice. And then another thing is. Uh, her IQ and her her anticipation mm. is, is 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 second to none. So and when you talk about greats, you know sometimes there's just qualities and characteristics that you can't skill. You know you can't skill anticipation. You know uh, you can't skill a mentality to to already know that or think that you're better than anybody out there. You know, that's that's talking about Maya Moore, Megan Walker, whatever. You know, right, right. She, you know, I don't care if, if you are the best high school player on, on the boys team. You know, one on one, you got to touch a kid. And it honestly was the same way that feel that she can beat you anytime, any day. Check up, you know. So so when you got a kid like that and the kid that plays pickup all day, every day, that's 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 right. something somebody you that's want on pretty, your team. That's pretty, that's pretty special, yeah. you know. So, you know, I, I think uh, it, it's it's uh, it, it's great, you know, that you get to share some of your uh, your basketball knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, like I say, we've been lucky, you know, have you as a brother and a friend for years. A lot of people just don't know what you got upside, you know, in, in your head and how you speak and how you how you mold it and all that other stuff and and how it turns into a, a finished product. And uh, mm -hmm. I think, you know, with, with the streaming and everything, I think, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, it's going to let everybody know, you know, how, 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 how much of a talent, you know, uh, you actually, you know, you actually are. And, you know, and how they'll begin to see how, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you landed those recruits. How once you landed them, you know, they became champions, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, and basically, you know, wrote history, you know, because... You know, some some like you said, some schools they have landed the recruits, but they haven't. You know, they're still getting knocked out of first, second round, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You know, but no, not it landed the recruits is a challenge within it, within itself. And even my old team, man, yeah. they, you know, I'm ready for them to get back to a final four, man. You know, they've oh, yeah, been in them yeah. sweet sixteens, yeah, Baylor. Yeah. You know, right. they've been hitting them sweet sixteens. You right. know, three years in a row, whatever. It was a time that where I felt like they was the best team in the country on paper. Yeah. You know, on paper. And somehow, you know, they got knocked out, you know. Right. So I think, you know, it's, it's a development thing missing there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, back when we uh, went 40-0, it, it, all the kids were skilled. You know what I'm saying? That goes from the five all the way down to the one. That goes from Brittany Grinder being able to knock down threes and put it on the floor and jump hooks, you know, all the way to, to Odyssey Sims, you know what I'm saying, that's knocking down long-range bombers. So, you know, it's all about the development. And, right. and another thing, we go, you know, this is a business. We're going to do this. So, parents, y'all got videos. Send your videos in, you know. We'll look at them. It don't take us but 45 seconds to a minute, you know, actually when we're looking at highlights or whatever, to really break down your kid and, and kind of tell you how to sculpture them into that basketball player that suits them. You know, so our thing is we got to sculpture you to what you're good at and your strength, you know what I'm saying? So if you kind of stock in me, well, you know, your, your, your ass is going to be the triple threat game. You know, we go catch it. We're not putting it on the floor because, you, you know, not going to be quick enough to get nobody. So you catching the, the triple game. threat. We jabbing. You got to be able to knock that shot down off the jab. That's going to open up to whether if you jab and fake one way, you put it on down one floor, boom, knock that down. So the bruisers. Triple threat game all day, pounding, using your shoulder, getting them off of you. You know, uh, you know the quick, elusive ones. We got the skip game. You know where we just kind of just skipping, like skip to my loose, skip right on by you, skip right into a jumper, skip right on into a layup. So you know, parents, send your stuff in. You know, you want that exposure, you want that evaluation, and you want a real, live, true evaluation. You know, and it, and you asking us, will Gary Blair recruit this kid, or will Kim Mulkey, or or uh, Gino Ariema recruit this kid, we can tell you that, you know. Okay. So a few of those kids, like Layla Blair, Sand Sarah Andrews, you know, those, um, to be real with you, those are Gino, uh, uh, Gary Blair, you know, Kim Mulkey, you know, type Carolina's kids, here. you know. Uh, so, 
And, and that's what it is. I'm going. I'm going to give you the truth. If, if that kid, if I look at that kid and she's lacking defensively, she's a great player. I can tell you, she's really mid major right now until she start learning how to play defense hard. You know, from 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 start to finish. So send your stuff in. Send your videos in. We, and we'll break it down right here. You know, on the spot. You know, so uh, Good deal. you know that's what's up. Well, uh, uh, you know, not only you're a basketball talent, you got an entrepreneurial mind, and you know, you're always willing to, you know, push the button, try things. Uh, uh, you know, that's what made you successful in the basketball arena. But, you know, just kind of Christian, if you scroll down to that uh, uh, that image uh, over there, uh, yeah, bring that guy up, not that one, the other one. Uh, you know, so tell us about that one, that this uh, this this initiative, uh, or this this this. You know. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, me and my man Corey here, you know what I'm saying, entrepreneurs, you know, it's always, you know, when I talk about Swiftology, it's just it's just all about wisdom, you know, and, and, and helping, you know, on the basketball side, we helping players. But right here, we got ladies night with an honest man, you know, and this is going to help men and women, you know, it's basically it's geared towards the women that, that, that wants an understanding on, you know, really why men do the things that they do. Mm -hmm. So ladies night with a man, you know, we're, we're, we're going to do a live streaming show. In Duncanville, it's, it's going to be uh, held at Dramatic Results Salon and Spa. It's a beauty shop, a great, uh, uh, beautiful uh, beauty shop that has, you know, they have about 11 suites in there. They do massage, they do nails, they do uh, hair, eyelashes. So what we're going to do is just kind of have that barbershop, beauty shop type of talk. Oh, and right. What this is, is a platform for the women to, to ask questions and get true, sincere, genuine, uncut answers on uh, about men, you know, so basically we kind of trying to help these women figure out, okay, is this man worth being patient for or should I just let him go? He don't love me, you know, right. uh, because like I tell, you know, women all the time, you know, we got a lot of weaknesses, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but we got a lot of strengths too. So sometimes it's, it, it, it's some men that's worth being patient for. You know, it's some that you know you don't need to waste your time for it. But the, you know, so we'll be able to tell you what's a conditional love, what's unconditional love. Uh, you know, uh, if 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 uh, why we step out sometimes, or if you got a question, you got a scenario, and you want to know, uh, is he cheating on me, or do we got a woman living with him while he talking to me? We are gonna be able to read that situation and that scenario and, and, and tell you the truth. So, ladies' night with an honest man. You know, it's gonna be a panel of men just giving you giving you the game. The women, uh, Corey will be streaming live. You can call in, ask questions, uh, comment, and leave questions. It's it's. Uh you know, and, and, and the setting is, you know, uh, we're going to bring it to you on a Friday night from, uh, uh, what's the name of the, uh, uh, the dramatic, dramatic results? I mean, this 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 shop is, uh, you know, for ladies, it's got everything you need. You want to go there and get your hair done, you're going to, you know, the ambiance there is, is, is off the chain. But, you know, guys, it's going to help you too because it's, it's beauty shop talk. You know yeah, what I'm beauty saying? Shop I was, talk. We was right there in the middle of it today for just for a hot second so it's just like you know guys you know i think we need to know what was said in the in the beauty shop and we're bringing it to you via the stream so you know you know how we talk in the barber shop right, you know what right. i'm saying the ladies don't necessarily know what we're saying but now they're going to let us come in there and stream and uh you know going to put a, a a panel of guys up there and you know they're going to catch a little bit of the beauty shop talk and beauty shop questions and you know guys you need to check it out too because you need to understand how you know, uh, the, the, the ladies think. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to come with these shows, you know, once a month, uh, mm -hmm. starting off. And, uh, you know, it's for everybody from, you know, young adults, middle-aged adults, older adults, for the men and the women. It's, gonna, it's not going to be nothing ratchet. No, it you won't know, be ratchet. Be you ratchet know, October twenty first. You know, yeah. the first show, and like you said, it's gonna help the men. You know, it's gonna let us know, hey, it's it's good women out there, and you know what they think about us, and and then also, you know, 
it's gonna let you know, man, when you when you find a good woman, you know, and you think she's worth, you know, selling down with and and, and and start the future with, go ahead and do it. You know, sometimes we gotta get to a point where you know we 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 leave the you know the field alone. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We gotta retire that jersey, you know, take that player hat off, you know. You know, like I tell everybody, I retired my mouthpiece, you know, a while back. You know, the mouthpiece was dangerous, you know, back in the day. So <laughs> I took the mouthpiece out, you know what I'm saying? I just Put a, you know, put it in a little gold case, you know, framed it, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's still there, you know, you want to look at it, you know, that mouthpiece, but yeah, you know, we took it out. So, you know, we just let it over. Like a trophy. It's in the trophy case. You know, the mouthpiece is hung up, you know, so we're going to have a good time. You know, we're going to have wine, you know, we'll just It's going to be nice. It's going to be monthly, and I think... I think everybody's going to love it. We're going to have an audience there. Uh, you know, going to have a, a host slash moderator. Going to have a good, we already got a you know, good head start on the panel, uh, panel members. Uh, you know, so we just, you know, we're going we're gonna to bring you about an hour, hour and a half of a good panel discussion on the first topic of, you know, uh, ladies night with an honest man. So, uh, but, you know, we're going to be coming with some other topics down the road. But, you know, we got about five, six weeks. Uh, before we, you know, we add this first one, and it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty good. So, you know, like I said, not only is Damien got a, uh, a, a entrep entrepreneur in mind when it comes to being successful in the basketball arena, you know, he's uh, 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 he's bright, you know, at, at, at trying other things and avenues. So, I think this right is a, an, it's an excellent, you know, opportunity uh, for for the community to kind of enjoy. Enjoy something, something uh, different. So be on the lookout. We're gonna be pushing it, you know, over the next five to six weeks, and uh, you know, check it out. Yeah, one eleven uh, South Cedar Cedar Ridge is is, is the address. All right. Um, Maybe right, about three blocks from Duncanville, Duncanville High, High School, yeah. right down the street from Duncanville High School. Dramatic results. Uh, uh, salon and spa, you know, look it up, Google it. We'll be uh, developing some social media. You know, the title is Ladies Night with an Honest Man, you know. So that's the only way you go get the real uncut is Ask an Honest Man. So that's the name of it. Uh, be looking for that on Twitter, Facebook, Ladies Night with an Honest Man. It's in C off of Cedar Ridge in, du in, in Duncanville, Texas, right three, four blocks down from Duncanville High School. Be ready for it. It's coming. All right, well, hey, we're wrapping it up. Appreciate Swift already, coming through. Already, already. We're coming back for more and more and more. Y'all leave your comments, like, share uh, uh, the video, come back. You know, check it out. It's going to be coming, uh, you know, uh, two, three times a week. Call in, uh, do everything. You know, send an email with, with, with comments, questions. You want to chime in, you want to get on the show, call in, come by the office. You know, we're going to be coming, you know, two or three times a week. All right, peace. Oh, really? How many minutes was that? 50 minutes? Oh, that was like an hour. Oh, that was an hour? Yes. Yeah. And it's like they don't, you know. Yeah, it go. It go. It go, man. Like, it'll go. Yeah. I guess it went bad. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shoot. You know what I'm saying? This video. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They oh, they video me a hundred dollars. You know, what else? Man, that's stuff you with Layla and all that? <laughs> <laughs> that was next level, yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> when you can talk about it, it's already there. Yeah, you ain't lying. That was a real life dress rehearsal, too. Damn, they thought my lady was just gonna go up in the rankings, you know. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. They said to, you know. Get that exposure, man. That's that's what we gonna be. You know what I'm saying? You don't need no Brandon Clay. You ain't gotta pay for it. You know what I'm saying? You just holler it up. Send us your video. They gonna be like, man, we, I'm gonna send them my video. And I hit them with some real stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we hit them with, you know, with the harmony turn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>